We unveil America's secret weapon in the fight against climate change. Welcome to Future 360, I'm Sarah Backhouse. The sun currently provides us with just 1% of our electricity needs, but solar thermal is picking up steam with innovative new technologies like eSolar's solar thermal power generation. The company is headquartered in Burbank, California. Its solar thermal power plant, the Sierra Sun Tower, is located some 60 miles away in Lancaster, California. When most people think of solar, they think of photovoltaics or PVs. But solar thermal is in the midst of a revival, with big announcements in Europe and the US that's putting the spotlight back on this powerful technology. My name is John Van Scoder, President and CEO of eSolar. Solar thermal is definitely on a revival. In the 90s, the first tower technologies were demonstrated by Sandia Labs. We've taken that and improved upon it with our small heliostat, our modular architecture, and our focus on uh, scalability. My name is Joe Long. I'm the plant manager of Sierra Sun Tower. Sierra Sun Tower is a concentrating solar plant using power tower technology, where basically we collect the sun's energy, uh, reflect it using these reflectors, uh, up to a solar receiver where we transfer water to steam and then use that steam in a, in a conventional steam turbine to generate electricity. The plant consists of two modules which sits across 20 acres. Its 24,000 sun tracking mirrors or heliostats reflect solar heat to two thermal receivers which are mounted on top of central power towers. Piping steam through a turbine to power a generator results in 5 megawatts of clean, renewable energy, enough to power 2,000 homes in the Lancaster area. The goal of Sierra Sun Tower is primarily to uh, demonstrate the technology, to show the world what we have and what we've done and, and how it can be used worldwide. E-Solar is different from other concentrating solar power or CSP technologies because of its low-cost prefabricated heliostats and its modular field layout which allows modules to be deployed like building blocks to quickly reach utility scale power generation. This caught the attention of energy giant General Electric. We've just announced a uh, partnership with General Electric uh, for the integration of our technologies with integrated gas combined cycle plants. The deal would see the development of an integrated renewable combined cycle facility in Turkey. Solar energy providing 50 megawatts of a total 530 megawatts or enough to power about 40,000 European homes. Much the way that hybrid cars bridge between fossil fuel and pure electric, we believe that ISCC, Integrated Solar Combined Cycle, could act as a similar bridge. The next step after that will be the addition of storage. Uh, we have underway a molten salt storage development project right now. And then again, ultimately as standalone, we believe will compete directly with fossil fuel. The energy produced by solar power tower systems can be stored in low-cost, non-toxic liquid molten salt, which allows for nighttime power generation. Torresol in Spain recently achieved the historic first of 24-hour uninterrupted solar power, which is great news for the industry as a whole. The future of solar thermal is looking very good. Uh, given the uh, worldwide uh, energy resources and the worldwide energy demand, um, solar thermal power will play heavily in the, in the future needs of the world. We have great aspirations for solar. I don't see why there couldn't be uh, greater than 10% in the near term and upwards of 20% of the world's energy needs supplied by solar. With eSolar's tower technology and other major breakthroughs in CSP, we could see solar be price competitive with dirty fuels within a few short years. And with its vast deserts, the United States is perfectly positioned to become a global leader in utility-scale solar power.